hello youtube today i'm here with a new tutorial and in this video i'm going to show how to fix or enable intel hd graphics 630 with full acceleration on macro sierra so guys before starting if you haven't subscribed to our channel then please go and subscribe to our channel and stay connected for latest updates as i was receiving few requests to fix intel hd graphics 630 on macro sierra so here i am so guys let's start so as you can see Currently I am running Mac OS Sierra version 10.12.4 and the graphics is being recognized here is Intel HD Graphics 630 GT2 7MB only but it should be 1536 MB and then only we can able to get full acceleration and you can check the full acceleration if the dock is transparent so as you can see the dock is not transparent yet means the acceleration is not working yet and if you go to display tab and here also there is the intel hd graphics 630 gt2 7 MB. so let's fix this so all you need to do is download this fix from the description don't worry guys all download links are provided under video in the description so after downloading this fix extract it open the folder so as you can see here is the clover configurator efi mounter for mounting efi partition and here are the some kex and kex utility and one readme file which includes the instruction for fixing intel hd graphics 630 so the very first step is to open the efi mounter app and select your hard drive on which you have installed macro sierra and then click on mount efi and as you can see the EFI partition is mounted here so firstly close this and then open the EFI partition of your hard drive then open the EFI folder and go to Clover folder and one thing make sure if, uh, if you haven't uh, installed the Clover bootloader yet then please install the Clover bootloader and uh, if your system needs an edited uh, configure.plist file or the patched plist file then please patch it here and then install the clover bootloader and replace the configure.plist file with the default one so that you may able to boot your system so i have edited my configure.plist file already and now we are going to fix intel hd graphics 630 all you need to do is open your configure.plist file as you can see i have already installed the clover bootloader so no need to install it but if you haven't installed the clover bootloader so install it and then follow this steps so now open your configure.plist file and now go to device section and then go to fake id and then select intel gfx column and then select the existing value and delete it and now type 0 into 191 68086 and then go to add properties and then click on this plus button and then under device double click and type intel gfx note that the i must be in the upper case and gfx must be in the upper case so type it exactly as shown here like this and now go to key value and type double a p l comma g f x then y t i l e now click here as you can see the first file letter must be in the upper case and then f x must be in the lower case and then again the two letters must be in the upper case and then the last three one must be in the lower case and now go to value and then type 0 a a a a a means five times a and then again double zero as you can see here zero five times a and then double zero under value type select it to data now make sure that uh, in the fake id intel gfx has been set to 0 into 191680086 in the add properties section the, the device must be intel gfx and the under key it must be aa apl double apl gfx ytile 
and in the value and under the value it should be 0 5 times 3 and double times 0 again and the value type then there must be data selected now go to graphics tab make sure that the inject intel has been checked if it is not uh, checked this box then make sure to check this box and then go to ig platform id and if there is some existing value then delete that and type 0 into 1916 4 times 0 so make sure it is 0 into 1916 4 times 0 and then save your configure.plist file after verifying it and then close your EFI partition and then quit clover configurator and now open the extracted fix folder and now open the cached utility now type your password and press enter now go to the fix folder and then select the two cakes fake pc id intel hd graphics dot kicks and fake pc id kicks and then drag this both kicks to the kicks utility and then type your password and then press enter and now it will install the both the kicks now the both kicks has been installed so click on quit now close the folder and if there is some existing apps running so close that and now you need to restart your system so select on restart and make sure to uncheck this box and then click on restart as i am using a uh, msi motherboard so the boot menu key is f11 so press your boot menu key and open your boot menu and then select your hard drive followed by the uefi prefix or the uefi os then press enter to boot now go to options and then select boot arcs press enter key four to five times and then delete the existing boot arcs later on we will update it now type only dash v that's for both booting if you are stuck at some point it will have to boot so use only dash v no nv dot disable one or nvdrv is equal to one because we are only using the intel hd graphics so now press escape key and now press enter to boot macOS from macintosh hd so press enter Now type your password Now we are here on the desktop So as you can see the dock has been changed from the white to transparent So let's check out the graphics So select about this Mac And wow as you can see here here is the Intel HD graphics 630 GT2 1536 MB and go to display tab and here is the LG IPS full HD display 21.5 inch running into 1920 into 1080p pixels and here is the Intel HD graphics 630 GT2 1536 megabytes means now your Intel HD is working with the full acceleration with the all features enabled so now your Intel HD 630 is working fine and you can play youtube videos so guys finally we have fixed intel hd 630 graphics and that was pretty much easy so so now finally we have full working intel hd graphics 630 working with full acceleration hope you like this video thanks for watching and don't forget to like share comment and subscribe for more updates stay connected have a great day